Hey YouTube, it's food prep time. This is what I made, so if you want to see how I did it, then let's take a look. Okay, here are today's ingredients. The interesting one today is that spaghetti squash you see in the back. The rest are two bunches of broccoli, two cauliflower heads, mushrooms, the essentials, a red pepper, tomato paste, and a pound of beef. All right, let's start off by cleaning the cauliflower and removing the green parts. Then we can proceed to cutting the florets into smaller portions. Using a smaller knife helps with this because it gets in there much better than a large one. Earlier I had made a batch of bacon, so some of that fat I'll be using to roast the cauliflower. Throw it in the bowl, mix it well, and spread it evenly on a sheet pan. For spices, I'll just be using salt and pepper to keep it simple. Have a preheated oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 204 Celsius and pop it in. Next up is the broccoli. This one is easier. I cut the end first and discard it. Then I remove the trunk and cut the florets into smaller pieces. I still use the trunk, but since it's a bit rough, I cut it into halves. These other trunks are going to be for my doggy. Okay, once it's all cut up and in the bowl, I just put a good amount of olive oil. Mix it up well to spread the oil, then lay it out in a sheet pan nice and evenly. For spices, again, it's just some salt and pepper, and it'll be ready to go in the oven. While the broccoli and the cauliflower are in the oven, let's start making the beef. We'll need a slice of green pepper, a whole red pepper cut into squares, a small tomato roughly chopped, a quarter of an onion diced, and finally some mushrooms. I like how I cut them here, especially because it lets them blend in well with the rest of the food. Okay, the broccoli is done. Now the cauliflower is done. Nice. Let's prepare the spaghetti squash before we start the meat. You can see that I have a towel underneath it because the exterior is quite slippery and hard. This is pretty difficult to cut, so I'm going slowly. The initial cut I'm making is more of a scoring to penetrate the surface. Once I've gone all the way around, I'll be able to slice it. Be sure to remove the seeds from the center. Since this is the first time I'm making this, I'm just going to do the basic olive oil and salt for roasting. Let's put it in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 204 Celsius. Finally, let's start making the beef. First, we'll add a tablespoon of coconut oil to a preheated pan with medium-high heat. Next, I'll start cooking the mushrooms. Once they're a bit cooked, add the rest of the ingredients. Salt and let them cook covered for a bit. Let's add the meat after the chopped ingredients have cooked for about 6 minutes. Salt to taste. I did about 2 big pinches and all just later. 1 teaspoon of chipotle powder. 1 teaspoon of garlic powder, a couple of dashes of Worcester sauce, ground pepper, one small can of tomato paste. Next, I like to break down the meat to avoid having big chunks. Cover it and set the heat to medium low. I flipped the spaghetti squash and this is how it's looking. Check up on the meat after around 10 minutes or so taste it and adjust for salt. I had extra wine on hand, so I decided to add a splash. This gives it another layer of flavor, which I enjoy. At this point, it's pretty much done. You can cover it up and turn off the flame. The spaghetti squash is done when it's soft to the touch. I let it cool down first. I thought I would use the fork to separate it, but as you can see here, it's more fun to do it with your hands. So there you have it. That was the food prep I did for lunches throughout the week. If you have any thoughts or questions, let me know in the comments and subscribe to see upcoming videos. Cheers.